So, here we are. Everybody loves a pup. Now, where is our pup coming from, and what are we going to think about when we decide where he comes from? The first suggestion I'd make is that we don't go too much on a quick win. Try and plan ahead. If you can possibly uh, think of a bitch that you really love to see working that someone's got, that's the kind of place that I think that one ought to go to. Because the, if a person has a favourite shooting bitch, they're much more likely to look for the very best mate for her. And the kind of thing, for the ordinary shooting man, I would have suggested that they don't necessarily have to be field trial dogs in the immediate parentage, but you want to look not only at the background of uh, how they work, how they look, because beauty is in the eye of the beholder, everybody likes to have something slightly different. This little pup here is actually by one of our stud dogs out of a very nice bitch. We had him back from a litter, got him last week. He's eight or nine weeks old. And uh, we're really pleased with the look of him at the moment, but there you are. Every pup that we have is always going to be the best ever. But I should look for parentage that you like, and I would look for a little bit of field trial breeding in the background, because this means that they have it been independently assessed, and they are the kind of uh, dog that sound in all respects, and they have run in trials and they've got some form of awards. So I would think that uh, you don't necessarily need the fast and furious parents, but you do need something solid in the background. Dog or bitch, please yourself. If we start, get his name, and he's just running about, I always try and make sure that they listen to me. If they're slipping off somewhere, and uh, then I'll go, Tor, Tor, good little man, there's a man, come on, good little chap. Always get him a come to you, good little man, come on in, yee, 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 yee. You need to be careful not to frighten him at this age, different thing, good little man. But you go towards him and, and make yourself uh, scold a little bit and then tell him, when he looks around at you, good boy, good boy, good little man. Hey, shh, good little man, good boy. Hey, the boy, come on. Ah, good little man, hey. Little man, let's try this, hey. Oh, and he likes leaves too, good little man. What's this, look, what's this, hey, bitch. Good boy, good boy, come on little man, get him to come straight to us, good boy, good boy, good boy. Now, obviously we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't give him too many, because while he's coming up nicely, good little man, while he's coming up nicely to us, with the dummy or the ball, we take it from him and tell him what a wonderful chap he is. And then, whilst he can still do with another one, we leave off and give it to him tomorrow or this afternoon or whatever. If we keep throwing it for him and he runs off and he gets it in the end, he'll say, well, that's not what you want, obviously, because every time I bring it back, you throw it again. So we try and make it just a short little session, get him to do it properly, and always, whatever he's got, get him to come right up to us. Good little man, there's a boy, good boy. Happens to be, a jolly nice little pup. They won't all. Good little man, come on, what a talk. Good boy. They won't all just be as obliging as that. What you've got to be very careful of is if he picks, if a, a pup picks up the dummy or the ball, ball preferably, because they seem to like those better than the dummy first off, and then sugars off with it, and you dive towards him to get it, you can frighten him so that in the end he says, Oh, blow that. As soon as I pick it up, you run after me and frighten me because I won't bring it to you. What you want to try and do then is to ease off that. Try, if you must, by the door of the boiler house where he lives or the kennel or whatever, just stand by that and get him to bring it to you there. But if you find that you're having a problem with a small pup and they're running off with the dummy or the ball, try and back off it for a little while. Don't keep going at the same thing and making it worse. Good little man. Because we're only playing with them, aren't we? Now, would you do it once more for me, eh? What we'll do... Hey, little man. Hey, 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 Good boy. There, that little man. Come on, then. Good boy. And if he was to go, go, come on, come on, little man, come to me. 
Good boy, good boy. Even at this stage, you move away and get him to come to you if you can. The grandchildren have been here on holiday. And with the children playing with him and our youngest grandson, Billy, running about after him going, pop, 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 pop. For a start, the puppy was going, oh my God, I think this is the end. But by the end of the week, Billy was running around after him going, pup, 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 and the pup was going, oh, well, I can play with you just as well as anyone else. Brings them out. The more they have experience of every uh, thing that there is, of children running about and people coming, dustbins banging, a worldwide experience is what you're looking for without them ever knowing they're learning anything. Talk.